Here's how to use the Microsoft Authenticator app on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you need two-factor authentication through an authentication app, I'll walk you through the entire process. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, let's just open up the App Store here and download and install this app. So let's type in Microsoft Authenticator. And you can see here it is. I'm just going to tap on get here and it will download and install this app. Now I'm just going to enter in my uh, password here. And once I've done that, I can hit sign in. And just like that, it will download and install this app. It looks like Face ID is wanted as well. So essentially, it will download this app onto your phone. And then we can basically turn it on and start using it as an authenticator. So on here, let's just hit accept and continue. Now, you will need to either sign in with Microsoft. You can add a work email address or school account, or you can even scan a QR code. But for now, I'm just going to hit skip at the top right. Now, it says, are you ready to add your first account? Let's hit add account here. And now the nice thing is you can basically add your personal Microsoft, other things like Google or Facebook or anything like that. You can hit allow and it'll allow you to use a QR code to basically just scan the QR code or you can enter in the account name and the secret key here. So you should get these from whatever service you're trying to use basically to use this authenticator. So by going through this process, you'll set it up to have that two factor authentication. Now, you can also do things like passwords here, and you can essentially store all your passwords through your Microsoft account so that you can always access it from here. And then addresses and verify ID, basically accepted a verify ID will help you to authenticate or verify that you are who you say you are when you try to sign up for things or stuff like that. Now, you can tap on the three lines at the top left here and also just get into your settings. And on here, I would recommend turning on iCloud backup. Essentially, it says you need a Microsoft personal account. So just sign in or create a new account and turn that on so that you can assure that you've always backed up everything, even if there are any other issues. Now, you can see a bunch of other stuff with syncing your account and importing or exporting passwords and all of those different things. But essentially, the easiest thing we need to do is go to the authenticator and just hit add account and just start signing into whichever account you want to add that authenticator to. And then from there, you can use a QR code or whatever, basically to set this up. And once you log in on that other account, maybe it's Facebook or Google, and then you can always go back in here and use that authenticator and it will give you a code to be able to enter in on that other account to be able to confirm that you are who you say you are. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.